There's a lot of questions about how to wear masks, and I think there's some really good tips we can provide. I brought a little surgical mask. This is not an N95 mask, which again has been fitted to someone's face. It, it will filter out 95% of those particles. Surgical masks filter out about 80%. And if you are sick or taking care of someone sick, the way you would do it is you actually fit it to your face, bring it over, and you should wash your hands. Remember that just the 20 seconds of washing is what's gonna disrupt the virus most. So do that before you put your mask on or do a 60% hand sanitizer. Remember not to touch your face. We all touch our face on average about every two to five minutes. So if you do need to adjust your mask, make sure you've washed your hands before and after. And then most importantly, when you take it off, a really good tip is to take it off from the back over your face toss it in the trash, and then wash your hands again. Try not to touch the front of the mask because if there are particles on it and you take it off from the front, then guess what? You're transferring it back to your hands. So if you are in a position where you need to wear a mask, then that's how you should put it on and off. And Dr. Ravina, any last tips you have about how to wear a mask and how to do so correctly? I would mirror what Dr. Batra said. And what I'm recommending is that anyone which has been hoarding some N95 masks or has a huge surplus at their house, please go to your local hospital and donate them. We need them as healthcare providers, which are in the front line caring for patients. And I would also say that those people which are at high risk, those elderly patients, those people which are immunosuppressed, I would recommend it might be a good idea to wear a mask when you go out grocery shopping, when you're out around a crowd, but again, keep your six foot distance. I've recommended this for my mother who's around 70 years old and my boyfriend's mother who um, just finished chemotherapy. Great recommendations, Dr. Ravina. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.